One of the best things that you can do to increase conversions on your sales pages or your services page is to use customer testimonials, but it can be kind of a hassle to collect that feedback. So I'm going to show you a way to use free tools and set this all up on autopilot so you are collecting testimonials without even thinking about it. Let's dive in. Okay, go to docs.google.com forward slash forms to create a new form. Then just click on the big plus sign and create a new form and give it a title. Look for the menu on the right hand side and click the plus button up at the top to add a new question. And in the menu here, you'll see that there are lots of different types of question formats that you can choose from, such as short answer, paragraph, linear scale. So you can check out your options there and then I recommend putting all your questions, organizing them inside of a Google Doc, then you can just copy and paste them into the form. So I have scale questions here and I have open-ended questions. I'm going to show you how that works. So back over on my form for question number one, I'm going to choose linear scale. Then I'm going to come back to my document and I'm going to copy and paste my first question. This is going to be on a scale of one to five. So for number one, I'm going to put very dissatisfied. And then for number two, I'm going to type very satisfied. When you're done, go back over to the menu and click the plus sign again to add a new question. And this time we're going to choose paragraphs so that they can answer an open-ended question. Now, if we look up at question number one, we can now see that we have that nice scale. We've got very dissatisfied to very satisfied, and they can choose between one and five. And then back to the Google Doc to copy the open-ended question into my form and just keep going along one by one until all of your questions are in the form. So now we're ready to share the form. So look up in the right hand corner of the top menu for the big send button. This is where you're going to be able to either send this form to an individual email address or what we do is we copy the link and we include that in a follow up email sequence that gets automatically sent to our customers after a period of time after they've made a purchase. We recommend doing it that way because then you've got everything coming in on autopilot and to make it even easier, go to responses and then create a spreadsheet to capture those responses. So just click on the spreadsheet icon, give it a name, save it to a folder in your Google drive so that you know where to check it. And then all those responses are going to be organized inside of a checklist for you to review. Once you've made your spreadsheet, you can test your new form. Go ahead and use a different browser for that and just do a test, answer the questions and then check your spreadsheet to make sure that everything populated correctly. Go over to the form you see, we now have one response. Click on the spreadsheet icon and open up the spreadsheet to check it. And here you see my test response is here and that's where all of your customer responses will go so you can review them all at once. And if you want more tips like this, make sure you're following us.